Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Potato Chief, and welcome to Reacting Smack. If the lighting looks a bit weird, it's because my my light is just fused and broke. I don't know what the hell. So the lighting's a bit off today, so I do apologize for that. Uh, see, my, my ugly face looks even uglier. So there you go. Uh, we got... Uh, so anyway, Reacting Smack. We reacted to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens confronted Daniel Bryan from the October 17th episode of SmackDown. Let's have a little look. Did. And you come out here smiling, yeah. dancing around. Sabi, really, Sabi. Is this really the Sami Zayn that I've known for over 13 years? Daniel, really, really, what's the big difference? I mean, I'm still the Sami Zayn you've always known. I'm still True. a great guy. I am. No, I really am. I'm, I'm a great guy. Nothing's changed. All I did was I took ownership of my career back. A career that I worked 15 years to build. Does that really make me a bad guy? And let me just tell you, between you Fair and me, Daniel, it feels amazing. <laughs> and if you would feel as amazing as I feel now, you would be smiling just like I'm smiling if you had done what I did and take ownership of your career back and lose your martyr complex. Ooh. And if you had just done what I did and maybe worked a little smarter instead of working a little harder oh jeez you wouldn't have had to retire in this very building right here that makes me sad career, I <laughs> to catch up to you because you're the best and every time i would reach your level you'd already jump two steps ahead and i would try and i would try to catch up and you were always just two steps ahead but now daniel now now you are the last person I would ever want to be like. Ooh. The man who gave his body, broke his body for glory and for the adulation, just to end up a housewife. Ooh. Poor Daniel. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy to see what's happening now, to see that you've seen the light, to see that you finally have started to listen to what I've been saying all along. And while you are right about everything you said about Daniel Bryan, I, I feel like I have to clarify a couple things. See, you're right, he was a pathetic martyr. Ooh. Daniel Bryan has become something much worse. He has become what he's fought against for so long. He is a hypocrite. You don't care about anybody except yourself. And maybe, maybe you resent me because I care about what's doing best for the fans. And that's not what's best for you. But, but, oh, best for the fans? No, no, no. That's not what you mean. No, 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 no. Oh. What you this is so mean interesting. I'm just. I'm... You care about doing what's best for business. Ooh. That is exactly what's in your head. And Sammy, if you need it, Poor Daniel. There you have it. I feel sorry for Daniel. Man, right there. Daniel Bryan is now the authority. <laughs> You're right. You're totally right. I don't know why I'm surprised. You're right again. Daniel Bryan has become the very thing he spent his entire career fighting against. There's only one word for a person like that. Sell out. Thank you. Thank you for helping open oh, my eyes man. because this, this could have been... <sighs> Daniel Bryan's one of my favorite wrestlers. <laughs> God damn it. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are also some of my favorite wrestlers, but that has just really, has really bummed me out. I feel sorry for Daniel. Poor Daniel. Whoa, 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 where are you? Daniel, where are you going? Oh, wait, I forgot. Walking out of this arena is the best thing you got nowadays. Where am I going? I'm going to go find a couple of dudes. To punch you guys in the face. Oh, <laughs> poor Daniel. 
<laughs> when Daniel Bryan retired, it's like I was so gutted for like, ugh. like Daniel Bryan was one of my favorite wrestlers when he when he was like the whole WrestleMania 30 is my favorite WrestleMania, and that was all because of the, it was the Daniel Bryan story. Like he 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 was the underdog and all this stuff, and then. He, and then they have the storyline of he had to beat Triple H, and, he, and then if he beat Triple H, he would have to face Bro, uh, Batista and Randy Orton, and then he'd be a triple. Anyway, watch WrestleMania Fee. Fantastic uh, WrestleMania. It also had the end of the streak in it. But Daniel Bryan was one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so it really made, it does it is upsetting to see the guy like have to retire and not wrestle anymore. So it's a bit. Yeah, and Kevin Owens and, and, and Sami Zayn are some of my favorite wrestlers. So obviously, I'm assuming they had permission from. I'm assuming that they discussed it with Daniel before they went out because I wouldn't. I, I'm sure he was fair game for it. It's just yeah, it's a bit, 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 bit. Uh, I feel sorry for the guy. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that sucks. Anyway, uh, that was an interesting promo. Good, good heel work. If you're gonna get yourself like even I kind of I, even I'm annoyed with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at this point, and I and Kevin Owens is my favorite current wrestler, and Sami Zayn's up there too. So if I'm annoyed at those two, then uh, they're doing a good job of becoming heels, uh, get over his heels. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, later's bye bye.